hello guys welcome back to my channel um i hope you're doing well all right so let's solve this question this is this is um uh earth geometry and it's coming from 2024 examination paper that and that is internal by the way internal grade 12 ecz examination council of zambia now uh, if you find this video helpful to you please consider subscribing if you've noticed numbers a uh, few you have few subscribers this is the brand new channel we've opened another channel the other channel that i, op I uh, we had had some issues okay so we decided to open a new one so please you can also uh, increase the number Sh share with your friends okay and also comment in the comment section like the video all right so let's get started without wasting much of the time the diagram shows the points R, Q, P, and T or, uh, on, on the surface of the Earth. Take, take pi to be 3.142 and the radius of the Earth to be 34, 37 nautical miles. So, as you can see, this is the diagram. Then the first question is saying, find the difference in longitudes between point, points Q and T. The difference in longitude. How do you find differences in longitude? This is very, very simple, my good friends. It is very simple. Now, check. Um, Q and T are longitude. Q is on longitude what? 70 degrees what? So, 70 degrees west. And the other one, T, is on 42 degrees what? 42 degrees east. Check. Longitudes, these are line lines that run from north to south okay like these are longitudes so q is on longitude d 70 degrees west then t is on longitude what 42 degrees east now the rule is very simple if if these two points are on the different hemisphere okay different hemisphere you add if you're on the same hemisphere meaning west to west or east to east we subtract but this one it is west and the other one is east so i'm going to add uh, 70 degrees plus 42 degrees uh, uh degrees okay 42 degrees so when you add these two you're going to have 100 and what 112 degrees and that is the answer two marks all right that is the answer all right now When you look at the next question, is next question, next question is saying, calculate in nautical miles the distance between R and P. Where is R? R is here. R and P. R and P. So if you notice, this is the distance in latitude. Okay, distance in latitude. How do you find distance in latitude? It is very simple. It is very simple. So this is. Uh, two then a distance in latitude that is r p it will be theta over 360 degrees times 2 by r cos x okay let me explain a few things here um let me just write down data q here is a difference in longitude since we are finding distance in latitude then the difference will be longitude the one we've already calculated in fact here because r is t on the 70 degrees west p is only for the two degrees east so 112 it will still stand as the difference in what longitude are we together the longitude is just the same what is different is what um are just the points okay so that is that's it then pi we've already we are given radius we are given what is x x is the latitude in which arc p are they on latitude what 85 degrees 85 degrees all right okay radius is 34 37 not miles then in, what else is missing pi 33.142 uh, okay 
3.142. So this is the data we have. So let's substitute and solve this question. All right. So we're going to say, we're going to say, okay. So um, RP is equals to theta. We're going to substitute with 112 degrees over 360 degrees times 2 pi is 3.142. Are we together? Okay, so let me just write here where there is enough space. So RRP is equal to 112 degrees over 360 degrees times 2 times 3.142. Okay, 42 uh, times radius is 34.37. Then cos cos x which is 80 what 85 degrees okay so listen that's um that's a you there's some teachers who will tell you that you can use what just use 180 here um yes you can use 180 here provided you cancel this one the two because two into this is 180 that is the uh, shortcut okay all right so we can do the same here we can we can reduce two into two one two into three sixty is just one one hundred eighty just one and the same thing all right so let's calculate so when you punch everything in the calculator the figure is five hundred eighty five point six Six three five two eight nine four five seven zero seven eight. So the degree of accuracy here is not specified, so we are going to leave our answer correct to three significant what? Three significant figures. So you have one, two, three. Okay? So you can write 5, 8, and this is 5. And after this 5, there's a number which is greater than 5. So I'm going to add 1 to this one. And this one becomes what? Becomes 6. So 4, 80, 6, nautical what? Nautical miles. And that is, the, that is the answer. Simple, right? Good. Let's now solve the last question here. So the last question is saying, calculate distance p t all right so p is here then t is here are we together okay so p t so this is a distance in the longitude okay longitude this is a distance in the longitude so what you're going to do the form, uh, for, formulae the formulae are different from for calculating for calculating uh, latitude distance along the latitude center of uh, circle of latitude and also the longitude so here the formula is very simple the formula is um, so this this is b pt is equals to theta over 360 degrees times 2 by r that's it simple right mm -hmm. so the data here data theta since we are calculating check we're calculating the distance in longitude here the difference will be in latitude so p is on latitude what 85 degrees then this one is on what 85 degrees north this one is 20 degrees north so they are on the same hemisphere same uh, hemisphere All right so what we're going to do is to subtract is to subtract since it is there is north north 85 degrees north minus 20 degrees north and the, the answer is very simple the answer is very simple it is 60 what 65 degrees all right that is our theta the difference in long latitude all right since we're finding distance in longitude all right then pi is still three point one four two radius 
is 34 37 since we are calculating distance in nautical what in nautical miles let's substitute this on the on our formula so pt okay pt is equals to pt is equals to theta is what 65 so 65 divided by 360 times 2 okay pi is 3.142 radius is 30 what 34 37 okay so when you punch these on the calculator this is what you're going to find 3899.658388 another 8 then 98488 488 so this is a 9 rounding off these to three significant figures or three sig figs you have one two three okay so we're going to add one to this one this one becomes 10 and to add one to this one this one becomes nine so it will be three nine zero zero nautical miles simple right good so if you're still together up to this point guys like the video uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you so much